So you wanted to buy some white vans, but your name is Daniel, but you decided against it because you realized your friends would never let you hear the end of it. Hey guys, I'm Matthias by Kai and Kai, and today we're back once again, and today I want to customize our blender because there has been a quite massive change to like, you know, the, 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 the themes and stuff, because there used to be like, um actual presets and whatnot but now there's like no presets blender got rid of all the presets like a long time ago so you have to actually download ones yourself which is like that's kind of dookie i don't want to do that so i feel like i kind of just want to do it myself you know but there's so many settings like there's if you haven't seen the customization for blender it's actually insane so we're probably not going to do all of this we're probably just going to do the stuff that you know we see most of the time so um, we're gonna start and just make our way through um the problem with this is though it's it's like a lot of it i want it to be the same color so i know i want okay let's do this let's make let's turn the roundness off of everything because that's kind of cool now one of these is going to eventually make all of the buttons i'm touching not round anymore oh there it goes wait it was regular was it not i am actually tripping okay wait no it's the ones in this box that are changing right now that is so cool okay so no more rounded sliders this is looking great so far dude this is why nobody customizes oh there it is value slider brother you gotta be kidding me that's an individual thing that's actually so cool though okay so what color should we go for i low-key want to make everything like orange for blender but i don't know like i feel like I feel like this like this like salmon looks really good. I like that a lot actually. I'm gonna copy and paste this value and we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna copy paste this to every blue color that we see. So now I gotta go back up. Wait, let me is there any more sliders for roundness? Hey Blender Devs, if you're watching this by any chance, you should make it so that there's an override. Um, unless maybe there is. I, I'm not even sure. I'm not gonna lie. You should make it so that there's an uh in an override where you can change every color at the same time because this is crazy scenes to have to do this okay the axis and axis and gizmo colors this is at the top yeah oh it's also the actual axis colors okay i'm gonna make these all nice colors okay so i want to do z is usually blue but i kind of want to make what if we do all the same color what if I make them all the same color blue? Would that be like stupid and confusing? Probably not, right? Surely that would be fine. Surely that would be great. I would love that. I would, what does Z look like? Okay, yeah, so it's all blue now. You know what I'm thinking? Do I want to make the uh, the button colors blue too? I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, well, the, the good news is, is if there is a blue color somewhere i can drag and drop it so like i can grab this and then just drag it there but that means i have to always keep that one open which saves like a few seconds but it's just so silly that it's that it has to be done like this i don't know i think this video should be more of a blender needs to change the way themes are video this should be like a video essay you know what i mean okay i think that's everything in the user interface that i'm gonna change i don't know if i like the blue though and that's gonna drive me mad okay i changed the gizmo colors too so the x and the y and stuff i changed that i'm also gonna make that a nicer yellow and then i'm gonna make this the blue color that we've been copying and pasting so it's all consistent I'm gonna make this a nicer green just soften it up and that red's already pretty nice the way that it is i'm not gonna lie maybe a little bit more pink how do we change this where is this at i want to find that would that be outliner highlighted objects where is you see how this is still orange this little thing here where would this be at this would be 3d viewport maybe orange there's just orange a lot of orange active object there it goes found it all right okay do we just make that the same blue is the blue theme gonna get annoying though or do i just make it white the white selected looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. I like that. Okay, what's down here? Um, outline width. Oh, that's so cool. That's very subtle of a difference. But I mean, I like the thicker outline. Face dot size. What is face dot size? If I go to face select, face dot size. I don't know what that means. Object origin size. Oh, I see the little. Ooh, okay. I can leave that like bigger like that. It looks nice. I like that. Um, Vertex size, I'm going to guess is obviously vertexes and holy moly there's no way somebody uses blender like that 
There's no way anybody's putting vertex size on 32. Okay, theme space. What is this? Would this be the actual literal background? Ooh, over the, oh, look up, look up here. Okay, wait. So that inverts it. I low-key like it better like that. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of cool. What's this? Can't tell. Nothing at all. What's this? Can't tell. Nothing at all. <laughs> gradient. Ooh, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want right here. Gradient color. Linear gradient. Oh my gosh. This is what I wanted. Wait, okay, okay. Low gradient and high. I'm going to make the bottom. Okay, I'm going to make the top lighter and the bottom darker. This is what I wanted. Yes, sir. Okay, I love that. That looks so nice. Can I add a little bit of blue to that? Just a little bit of a blue tint to it. Like something like that, maybe? Maybe this one up here too. The background's a little bit more bluish. It looks a little softer. Ooh. I mess with that heavy. I like that. That's nice. Okay. All right. That looks gorgeous. That looks beautiful. I kind of want to add a, a blue tint to all this gray now, though, is the problem. And that is going to be a literal pain. I don't think that that's worth it. What does it look like if it's just solid gray? Oh, it's not as good. I don't... We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Just just to keep everything, like, similar. Because I don't think I want to mess with all the all the gray in Blender. That's a lot of gray. Um, it would be nice if it was all the same color gray, though. I don't really like the different gray colors. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I want the grid to be a little less prominent. Because it's always kind of made me mad. So maybe make it make it a little darker than... Yeah, yeah, maybe make it darker instead of lighter. Okay. Light camera. Can I make the camera less dark? It's solid black, bruh. Oh, I see you can. I I'm actually really, I'm really actually really happy about this. And guys, you can actually do this yourself too. I'm not going to lie. I mean, there's a lot, but hey, listen, dude, asset shelf. I, I think we did that already. Um, oop. Oop. um, I don't know. This should just be, it should just be streamlined differently. I like that this is like heavy customization like this, but there, there could be maybe a section where it goes override all colors, uh, grid levels. Let's, let's do that. Grid levels. I think it is and also yeah i don't want any grid levels no grid levels and also noodle curving always makes me mad i don't like that so let's take it off they're straight yeah i love that jader node we could make that the blue color but i think i'd rather make it um white to be honest with you let's make that like a gray or like a, a dark oh yeah let's do that okay that's nice i like that a lot okay the material output i don't know why the output node is this like deep color like that but it always made me feel like oh no deep red so let's make it like maybe a little lighter red it looks a little like uh vampire is about to kill somebody it looks crazy it's like whoa it's so serious theme space window background a little darker might be nice there you go beautiful lovely i don't i don't think we can i don't think we can physically change this i hate the gradient from white to green i never liked that i um I want to see how we can change that. I don't think we. I don't think we can. The this is just for the wires themselves. Yeah. All right. I've changed all of the blue colors to the darker blue color, um, and it looks way better as far as I'm concerned. You can actually see um, what these uh, what these uh, colors are supposed to be. What the, what the words are now because it was so bright before. But it looks really good now. I like that a lot. It looks really cool. Uh, I think that's gonna be it. I think that's all I'm gonna do because I think we've done the bulk of everything. Oh, wait, I oh, we got. I gotta save it. 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 I gotta save it as save theme. Oh, built-in themes cannot be. You said what? I have to rename it. How do I add? Okay, there we go. We're gonna do Kai's theme. Yes. Wait, we're gonna do Kai's blue theme because I might I might make a another one in in the whatever time. Um. I don't like how the S is. That's going to freak me out. Anyway, whatever. I had a lot of fun making this little custom theme in Blender. I think you should go out and make your custom theme as well. It is actually quite a bit of fun to see that you can customize your Blender the way you like, especially if you spend a lot of time using Blender. But I will say, I do think that it should be changed. I think Blender has done a lot of really good updates um, as of recent and in the past. And I think the one thing that they haven't really touched is the themes. Because I think most people kind of just use Blender as, as it is out the box, which is fine. But I think a really big part of Blender is the user experience and being able to use Blender every single day and being able to customize it the way that you want is very, very cool. And I think that uh, they've kind of slept on that a little bit, which I understand because I mean, it is after all just custom themes and who really cares that much. But um, I do think a lot of people would appreciate being able to fully customize a bit easier 
um, the things that they're having a, a bit of a more difficult time, uh, a bit of a more difficult time doing. So, uh, so yeah, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one. Um, but until then, bye bye.